Oh, wow. Holy moly, dude. We took a big gamble, come all the way back here in this back lake and there's nobody home. There's some flounder. We got a little bit of bait, not much of anything. Water is crystal clear just about. But what we're gonna do is beat feet, hurry up, get back out to the main bayou and uh, see if we can find, find some blow ups. Uh, just try to get something that's a little bit faster pace than what we've got right now so be right back once ever we uh, get back out into that bayou Alrighty. oh he chased after it I didn't know he was coming at me. Boy, that's number two. That sun has got a glare right here, even with my polarized lenses, I couldn't see because of the ripple on the water. Excuses, excuses, Mark. Making excuses. <laughs> Gosh, man, oh man. Another redfish. <laughs> Dude, you gotta make up your mind, buddy. You look like a mullet. There's a redfish right over there. He should be coming along this grass line right here. Just trying to put myself into position. Get the jump on him. There he is. And that was a horrible cast. I don't know if he's probably going to be right at the verge of being legal. He might make it. Let's see if Mr. Tender Meat is going to be big enough for us. Okay, thank you for unhooking yourself. Bro, get out of the live well. Little buddy, I need you to get out of that live well. Oh man, you got you made me get a cramp, bro. How did I, that even happen? Oh my gosh. Contorting my arm just to get down in there. I don't understand how that even happened. Nineteen maybe? Nineteen and a half. Not bad. That's a start. All right, well. Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. For those of y'all that are new, welcome to my channel, MDLR Fishing. We are trying to catch a redfish because we wanna do some tacos tonight. So we'll continue hunting and eventually we're gonna come across one that we don't accidentally spook. And uh, let's see what's gonna happen. Got a big old sheep's head right over there. Hopefully he's gonna be willing to take this lure. Okay, there he is. Gosh, holy moly. Dude, I was going after the sheep's head and the redfish saw it. And we just got unhooked. Nonetheless, that was pretty freaking awesome. Wow. I can't believe that. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. Tons of sheep's head out here. Here goes one right up ahead. 
I cannot cast with this lure. I have zero accuracy. Got you. It's not the redfish that we wanted, but if he's a keeper, guess what? We're gonna take home some delicious white meat from the sheep's head. That is a nice sized sheep's head right there. Most definitely a keeper. Boy, that is a healthy sheep's head. Good looking fella. Let's throw you on the measure board. We gotta be sure. And that is a 17 inch sheep's head. Cha-ching, baby. You know what I'm hoping that this dude doesn't just go AWOL and try to chomp down on the uh, the coating of my, my stringer. Oh, wow. Holy moly, dude. I'm over here checking on the sheep's head and his buddy right here bites. Goodness. I know it's loaded with them out here. And I didn't expect to catch this fella on this lure right here. There we go. That is another keeper. Well, our job is done. Thank you for making it so easy on me, dude. There we go. My gosh, that is a massive one, too. We're going to have some nice white meat tonight. There we go. Look at that, man. That is a good stringer. Right there. There. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> that dude, that was a hook set, holy cow, I saw two of those guys and he just thought he was going to pull the okie doke on this fella right here if it was a piece of bait, good hook set, just didn't, I mean because they have that bony, like really, not bony, but really hard mouth. It's, it's really hard to get that hook right inside there. There goes another one right over there. It's pretty cool whenever you can sight, sight cast sheep's head. Normally they don't really want to take the lures. It just depends if you can make something look like what they're eating. And crabs and shrimp are definitely the patterns that you want to throw. <laughs> My gosh, he's like swimming sideways. Literally swimming sideways so he can get his eyeball on it. Then let me get a good look at this darn thing. Dude. You picky freaking eater, man. Alright, so this is going to be the mouth right here. And it's time to get on out. Let's get these guys filleted up, everyone. Get me a cutting board. I'm wash my hands. There's some really nice big ones out there too. I mean, there were tons of them. It was just so ridiculous how the reds weren't even out there. What are we gonna make with that? Uh, I'm gonna cook the boudin because it has to get cooked. And uh, also I got tenderloin steaks as well that need to be cooked. Boy, these guys are just as bad as a redfish. Trying to, mean? trying to get their ribs out. On the last cook video, they were like, do you have a uh, recipe? And I was like, yeah, no recipe, man. It's just whatever we have inside the, the fridge mm -hmm. that we just kind of throw together. Similar to what we're doing today. This is going to be really good. Mm. Yeah. And we got 
zucchini and squash over here. You're gonna sprinkle this Parmesan on top? Yeah, but hold, don't do it yet because I've gotta brush the oil on all of them. Well, some of these fellas might be getting a little bit more than the others. Oh, you know what, hold on. As soon as this preheats, I'm gonna put them in because they look a little good. I forgot to pull that out too. And then also this right here, boudin. Goodness gracious, at that thickness right there. Good. That's a booty beats right there, y'all. That's that filet mignon of booty beats. That's grade A beef right there is what that is. Right there, you better not post that That's anyway. That's that filet mignon of booty beats. <laughs> Okay, the fire is ready. I said, do you need help? Um, probably, Hi. if you just carry the tenderloins out there. Can you turn the uh, thing off so we don't, we don't get copyright striped? I think it needed to cook like directly over the fire. So not cooking? It's just not doing it uh, the way I wanted it to. Move the filet mignon over. I'm gonna put these guys over the fire to cook on the second side. I don't want to dry it out. I just want it to hurry up and like, okay. yeah. Are you gonna go down your slide? Oh man. Oh, there we go. Alright, babe, well, we gotta go. Time just going off for food. And. Oh, yeah, you. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this. It's just because it didn't cook the way that I thought it would. Does not look done on that what? Right there. I'm flipping them. Oh, okay. I thought you were, I thought they were done. I'm like, no, I, I'm, I'm having to flip them and cook both sides um, over the heat. I don't care, I'm just gonna eat. There we go. A quick one minute on the second side and the fish is done, y'all. I don't, I really don't feel like eating beef, uh, beef jerky, fish jerky. There we go, right here. There's a big old piece right there. And I also want like half of the thing of boudin. Uh, yeah, but I'm just gonna taste the fish, let everybody know if it's a yay or nay the way I decided to cook it. Make sure I'm inside the photo. Oh, not the photo, but the... Man, it's very dark in here. Here we go, y'all. Here's uh, sheep's head. It's been forever since I've had sheep's head, and already, just by cutting into it, I dried it out on the grill. I can definitely say it is cooked. It's good. It's, yeah, well, it's just, it's dry. And that's probably my fault for whenever I flipped it, I should have just let it cook for that time. Don't get me wrong, it is, it is good. And we are most definitely gonna eat this. It's super healthy, it was grilled. The spices from the chupacabra gives it a really good taste. Um, I probably should have just grilled it for like a minute and a half on each side and then been done with it. I prefer it sauteed on the uh, cast iron. I don't think the, like I'm gonna cook any type of fish period on the grill anymore unless it's redfish on the half shell because that comes out super juicy and redfish fillets are super thick as well. So I don't really gotta worry about that. Um, sorry about y'all's ears for dropping this fork for those of y'all that are using headphones, but yeah, um, it's good. And we're going to sit down and enjoy a nice family dinner. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, if you're interested in any of the gear that I was using today, please go down into the video description below. Check it out. There's a lot of links and that will help to answer a lot of y'all's questions whenever you're asking about certain things that I am using. 
whether it be the kayak, the fishing gear, my tackle and stuff like that, that's all gonna be listed down there. But again, thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate each and every one of y'all. And until next time, tight lines. Later I understood I was fine.